Many hospitals contract with associations of physicians to provide services to the hospital's patients as independent contractors. These arrangements are meant to insulate the hospital from vicarious liability if a physician provides negligent care because the physician isn't a hospital employee. But in Rosler v. Novak, a Florida court examined how the hospital may still be liable, even for the negligence of an independent contractor. On September 19, 1996, Klaus Rosler was admitted to Sarasota Memorial Hospital with pneumonia and a perforated viscous, a potentially life-threatening hole in his gastrointestinal tract. The following day, while an inpatient at the hospital, Rosler underwent abdominal scans in the hospital's radiology department. Dr. Richard Lichtenstein, the on-duty radiologist, was assigned to interpret Rosler's scans. A few days later, a surgeon at the hospital operated on Rosler's perforated viscous. Rosler survived the operation, but he suffered severe complications, including kidney failure and sepsis. Rosler sued the hospital for medical malpractice in Florida State Court, alleging, among other things, that Lichtenstein had misinterpreted his abdominal scans and failed to diagnose an abdominal abscess. Rosler claimed that the hospital was vicariously liable for Lichtenstein's negligence because Lichtenstein was the hospital's agent and was acting within the scope of his agency when he reviewed Rosler's scans. The hospital moved for summary judgment, asserting that Lichtenstein was an independent contractor and not the hospital's employee or agent. The evidence showed that Lichtenstein was employed by SMH Radiology Associates, a group that had contracted with the hospital to provide all of the radiology services for the hospital's patients through the hospital's on-site radiology department. Neither SMH nor Lichtenstein had offices anywhere besides the hospital grounds. The trial court granted the hospital's summary judgment motion, concluding as a matter of law that the hospital wasn't vicariously liable for Lichtenstein's actions. The court entered judgment in the hospital's favor, and Rosler appealed to the Florida District Court of Appeal.